Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnamke and today we will be discussing about the anatomy of pons. The pons is considered to be the second part of the brainstem and the brainstem is composed of midbrain, pons and medulla. We have already studied regarding the midbrain so today we will be discussing about the pons. The pons is divisible into two parts, the ventral part or the basilar part and the dorsal part or the tegmental part and these two are separated by a structure known as the trapezoid body. So the basilar part or the ventral part it contains numerous transverse and vertical fibers amongst the fibers are the groups of cells that constitute the pontine nuclei and the pontine nuclei are small masses of grey matter scattered between the longitudinal and transversely arranged fibers as told above and it forms a relay station in the cortico pondo cerebellar pathway and that particular pathway exists between the cerebral cortex and the contralateral cerebellar hemisphere and the descending longitudinal fibers includes the corticospinal fibers and the corticonuclear fibers and the transverse pontine fibers. They arise in the pontine nuclei and crosses to the opposite side to form the middle cerebellar peduncle. These are the pontocerebellar fibers. So these are the things you should remember about the basilar path. So here you can see a diagrammatic representation where you can see the two parts of the pons. This one over here is the basilar part. And above this yellow colored area is the tegmental part. And separating them you have the trapezoid body here. So this is the trapezoid body which separates the basilar part from the tegmental part. The trapezoid body. It separates the basilar part and the tegmental part of the pons. And it consists of decussating fibers of which a part of the auditory pathway forms. And the fibers which crosses in the trapezoid body ascends up as the lateral lemniscus. So you have to remember the fibers which cross in the trapezoid body ascend up as a lateral lemniscus. The structure of the tegmental part of the pons. It is the upward continuation of the part of the medulla behind the pyramids. So the medulla and uh, pyramids we will be studying in the next class. So, you just imagine that it is the upward continuation of the part of the medulla behind the pyramids. And superiorly, it is continuous with the tegmentum of the midbrain. And posteriorly, it is bounded by the fourth ventricle. And the ventricle I have explained in short in the last class. Like there is a ventricular system in the brain which circulates the CSF in and around the brain. So, there was four ventricles the two lateral ventricles, third ventricle and the fourth ventricle. So posteriorly the part, tegmental part of the pons is bounded by the fourth ventricle and laterally it is related to the inferior cerebellar peduncles and the superior cerebellar peduncles respectively in the lower part and the upper part. So these are the structures of the tegmental part of the pons. And if we take a section through the upper part of the pons at the level of the trigeminal nerve nuclei then you will find these features they are the motor and principal sensory nuclei of the trigeminal nerve then the spinal lemniscus trigeminal lemniscus the lateral lemniscus the corticospinal and corticonuclear fibers the medial lemniscus the superior cerebellar peduncle and the pontine nuclei so these are the basic features you have to mark out in a section which is drawn at the level of the upper part of the pons. So here we have the diagrammatic representation of the same where you can see the fourth ventricle here. You can see the lateral lemniscus here. You can see the trigeminal nerve which is arising from these two nuclei which are the sensory nucleus of trigeminal nerve and the motor nucleus of trigeminal nerve. And here we have the superior cerebellar peduncle, then this one is the middle cerebellar peduncle 
and previously I have told you this pink colored area represents the basilar part and yellow color area represents the tegmental part and in the basilar part you can see the black color nuclei that is collection of gray matter that is the pontine nuclei and in the center you can see the corticospinal and corticonuclear fibers and in the tegmental part the other things you should remember are the medial lemniscus then the trigeminal lemniscus and the spinal lemniscus so these are the features you should mark and draw in case if you get a question on the anatomy of pons so the two sections are taken one on the upper part and the other on the lower part of the pons so this defines the section through upper part of the pons and if a section is taken through the lower part of the pons at the level of facial colliculi there will be these features visible they are the abducens and vestibular nuclei on the floor of the fourth ventricle then the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve the facial nucleus the dorsal and ventral cochlear nuclei and the facial nerve loops around the abducens nucleus and that is the reason for the elevation called as the facial colliculus so that we will see so here we have the diagrammatic representation of a section through the lower part of the pons and here you can see the first one i am explaining is the facial nucleus from where the facial nerve arises it loops around the abducens nucleus and that loop will cause an elevation here and that elevation is called as the facial colliculus and the other things you should note down is the inferior cerebellar peduncle the middle cerebellar peduncle here then you have the facial nerve as i have told earlier then the medial lemniscus here in the tegmental part then we have the trapezoid body where there will be like decussating fibers then we have the anterior spinothalamic tract that is the tip of this particular medial lemniscus you can see here the anterior spinothalamic tract then as i told earlier in the basilar part we have the pontine nuclei the corticospinal and corticonuclear fibers then the lateral lemniscus here the spinal lemniscus here and the trigeminal lemniscus here so they are arranged in this particular manner so these are the features you should know regarding the section through the lower part of the pons so in detail we will be discussing that later when we discuss the brain stem all together so these are the points you should remember regarding the pons thank you